Hi guys, welcome to this channel, it's Max from Max Creation. In this small episode, we are going to look at a little bit of the sports because remember, uh, when we're talking about Qatar, we can feel to mention about the FIFA World Cup Qatar, which started on 20th uh, of this month. Remember, it is 32 teams that are going to compete against each other. At the end of it all, there will always be one winner. Remember, now it's all. We are looking at the latest uh, information that is regarding different kind of teams that we shall be able to, to have a, a clear information and definitely we can try to share out in one way or the other. What are we talking about? The, the first opening, spectacular opening of the FIFA World Cup uh, in the Arab country, it was a success and it, for those people that really attended, you definitely have to agree with me that the opening ceremony was really something that was really astonishing, something that was really very good. Uh, uh, very good and well planned uh, people most of the people would not expect it at all you know although to some extent it was not very good for this uh, for the host country for the first match where they were being hit or where they were being they lost the match to Ecuador uh, at what we call a 2-0 uh, defeat at the same time so it was not very good news for for the host country for the first opening match and definitely but definitely when we try to look at whatever it was there at that time we would look like at the end of it all we have a winner at the side of it all remember most of these gulf countries are uh, like for example Qatar it was his first time to participate in what we call the fifa world cup and being the host country it was a very good opportunity for them hopefully the next matches they'll be playing they'll definitely get it all and get to win a bit of matches because they need to win all the other matches if they have to portrait or what to go out to call the group stages what are we talking about today we are going to talk about another big match that will be uh, argentina versus saudi arabia in this episode we are going to look at the preview prediction team then the new lineup so we're going to try to try to see what could be the lineup for these different sides for the saudi arabia and the argentinian side remember this comes as a quest for the argentinian side after winning the copa america and there are so much quest to win what you call the fifa world cup in the time remember Argentina's latest quest for the international growth for kickoff it will be on Thursday when the South American nation will begin the World Cup 2022 at Lusail Ionic Stadium. That will be the world day that will be, be fair of, uh, versing Saudi Arabia, the Falcons of the Saudi Arabia the Desert, which is the uh, Saudi Arabia. Remember, when we try to look at the two teams, for example, when you try, first of all, let us try to look at Argentina itself. It has only have two World Cups that are in his cabinet and those two World Cups we are talking about that was in 1978 and 1886 the World Cups this Argentina side has in his cabinet so this is a time for them to have another World Cup that they can put in their cabinet to celebrate however something that you should know that when you look at Saudi Arabia Saudi Arabia itself is just aiming to make what you call waves and difficult group however it it also wants to try out its luck for the most of the uh, most of the time Saudi Arabia has uh, participated in the World Cup I think it has always considered a very big defeat uh, without even going out what you call the group stages or going out to the groups at the first time. so they are expecting that this is uh, uh, this is a time for them to go out and make it to a one uh, to a win on the other side when we look at Argentina's real scholarly side uh, it's just made up of a journey to Qatar with the Copa America already in their cabinet and they've run 36 uh, back ending so meaning that if Argentina wins this story or gets to Porto until the final and win the cup it will get away with the 36 years without winning a World Cup glory which is actually one of their big agenda to win the trophy because remember they are defending champions uh, of the Copa America remember when when we look at Argentina, Argentina has been unbeaten for 36 games uh, across all competitions, both for qualifying 2022 uh, 2022 World Cup without even losing a single game and winning the first last of all the tournaments. So meaning that 36 times of the Argentinians have been able to win their game. Uh, they are competitions in all the international competitions that bring uh, at the end of it all meaning that they are actually on a good form for anyone that can really try to assist they are actually on a good form and they have a highest quest for them 
for the trolley or for the FIFA World Cup to win the trolley at the same time. However, something that we need to understand that remember the Argentinians were eliminated in the round, the round of 16 that was in Russia, Russia World Cup in 2018. That was four years ago after failing. Still at the same time, after failing in 2014, we are also eliminated in Germany at the same time that the first time. So meaning that at this time they've come so much prepared to see that they can have the quest or they can have the glimpse of that world cup or that uh, tuna or that, that uh, the trophy at the same time so but still uh, uh, when we look at the Saudi Arabian side uh, it's the Saudi Arabian side they're so unlucky that even 2018 they were they were among the opening the opening match when they played the host major country that was Russia which defeated them by 5-0 for the Arabian to take unlikely so meaning that even this time they are, they are likely to be uh, facing the same fear of that defeat that they got in 2018 when they are being defeated by Russia on the opening game at five or by the host which was Russia uh, at the opening game which were given. 5-0 defeat at the same time. However, uh, according to the coach, uh, this, uh, the French coach, uh, the, he actually believes that his team right now, or well, this team now, has come so much prepared to take over and to get off with what we call surprising attacks and win over the Argentine size. However, something also you need to note that it is in the same group uh, where we have Argentina, we have Saudi Arabia, we have Mexico and Poland. So meaning that all these teams have to fight to, to, uh, fight so hard to see that uh, uh, they go through out of what you call the group stages. And what does it mean at the same time? It means that every every win to end of this country will count for them to, put, to, to go to the round of 16 at the same time. Some, so so uh, definitely when we get to look at Argentina and Saudi Arabia, they've never met in what you call World Cup, uh, World Cup finals. The two teams have never met in any way or the other. But what you call... That remember that the Argentina boasts what we call or records of two wins and two draws from the previous four four crashes with the Asian nations, and this is actually give them an what we call an absolute upper hand when they have to go at one for one. And at the most at the most time, they've also been held what we call um, a goalless draw that was an installment of what. 2012 in what a friendly however something that we need to understand when we look at the form let us try to analyze what is the form of these two countries the Saudi Arabian side and also the Argentinian side when we look at the Argentinian side the form currently with all competition Argentina has five wins and also has one draw meaning that it has been able to keep up the form from the from all the competitions uh, where we see that it has 36 games played without uh, without conceding what we call a goal and these are all wins and when you look at Saudi Arabia itself it has all the international competitions it has two wins it has three draws then it has uh, one loss meaning at the same time it is quite uh, so acceptable that uh, uh, there must be problem either the midfield or the defense side and even the attack itself there is some kind of critical uh, some kind of tactics they need to apply if they definitely need to win a match against what we call the south, uh, south americans uh, with a lot of work that needed to be done at the same time so but at this time uh, as we look at the latest information that we had from psg where uh, messi had to uh, to 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 train individually thinking that he had maybe an injury with that. however uh, we, we are able to see him play against the friendly in Abu Dhabi where they had to hit South uh, United Arab Emirates a 5-0 before their board on plane to come to Qatar. Assuming that Messi is fit enough, then we, uh, we say we shall expect a form including the attack of Rital Mentanis and Dio Di Maria and also Cristiano Romero and what we call Nicolas Otamendi could line up at the back of Martinez. Martinez which could be spared in one way or the other to have to have that counter attack that can 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 have the game well moving in in their own direction for as far as Saudi Arabia, we look at a five-camp midfielder, Riyad Komashiel, who is reported to sustain what we call a muscular prob uh, uh, problem, which uh, curiously in the World Cup hopes may be in a bit of what we call doubt in one way or the other. However, when we look at their defender, uh, what we call Hassan uh, Tembibik, is is back with full training after recovering from discomfort. However, when we look at definitely when we look at the starting lineup 
the possible starting lineup of the Argentina uh, versus Saudi Arabia. We shall look at El Martinez, we shall look at Moreno, Moromaro, uh, Otamendi, Marco Faco. Then we have uh, the Pal, then we look at uh, Pal Bates, we have uh, Gomez, we have Messi, Martinez, and also what we have, Di Maria. So we, that is what we are assuming the starting up, the starting up team for the Argentina side that is going to uh, pass what we call Saudi Arabia at the same time. And when we look at uh, uh, when 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 will we say definitely for anyone that could have the predict? I think we could say that Argentina has a win over this game because it has upper hand and it has very many records regarding uh, the matches. And even when you look at its form right now, it has been on form since winning what we call the Copa America at that time, hitting Brazil in one or the other. So they've been on form. So we can give a defeat. We can give a, a win to. We can we can definitely give a win to uh, Argentina in one way. They have upper hand, and preferably uh, when we look at uh, defiantly when we look at the defense forward side in 2022, it is this it is this week that uh, Saudi Arabia has not been able to 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 hold to to play back to hold any attacker, and they've been evident that they've conceded a lot of goals in one way or the other, and they are unlikely. Or they are likely to experience the same uh, the same situation when they don't get into a better organized situation. They are likely to concede the same number of goals against the Argentinian, the hot Argentinian side, which is has so much quest for the FIFA World Cup for the the trophy, uh, which must be which is actually missing one of their cabinets at one side. However, something that we should know: Scrawley men have swept aside almost every fear that has come, and they beat every team that has come their way. Uh, for the last three years, so meaning that at this time, for the prediction would be that uh, uh, Saudi Arabia might have get to attack in one or the other, get to to try out on their chances. But we definitely we can still have to say that we shall give the biggest, we shall give the we shall give the the the, the, the game to Argentina because of its unbeaten records and uh, the many uh, experiences they have been participating in the World Cup, which is uh, will be an uh, which will be unfairing. Uh, 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 to the Saudi Arabian side. However, with the football, you cannot get to underestimate anything. Anything can happen and we definitely believe if there is a fight in any way, if probably we can also give one goal, we can also give a chance of a goal that may come to Saudi Arabian side, but we may give the win coming to Argentina, which is the favorite in this team. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. This is a clip of the sports that we also need to share because remember we are talking about Qatar FIFA, 20, uh, Qatar FIFA World Cup 2020. We shall have some little bit in information from the prevailing teams and teams participation uh, don't forget this makes provocation remember we are talking about jobs travel and everything between thank you so much see you again in the next video it's makes from the next creation tv